the truth hurts, but the truth forces you to get better, right? The truth forces you to get better. And the only way that you can get better is by understanding the truth in the way that other people see you and the way that you present yourself in any situation. Larry King. Larry King. Yeah, I know, I know. We're waiting for Joe. The other J. We got Joe, we got Jordan, we got Jadam Jamway. I don't know, but you know, that just got me thinking that more and more people get into the workforce that either graduate college or don't graduate college, and then they just want to be paid and they just work and they just want to work, but they don't actually practice what they do to try to get better. They just think that they deserve a raise or they deserve to make more money because they show up to work. But the best athletes in the world only make more money or only do better if they practice, practice, practice to then prove themselves in the games. This is my moleskin. Every year I make one of these and I give them to all my clients and developers and all that. So uh, this is a, an electricity bill. And I use it and I just take down notes. I take down notes on my phone, but this is stuff that I don't ever want to forget. So it's got, you know, everything, every day I take notes. I put post-its in it so that I keep it. And it's like my little Bible. And I write down conversations. You know, I write down entire conversations in here um, so that I know when I'm about to get on the phone with a client and I've got to bridge a $100,000 gap or a million dollar gap that I've already bullet pointed all of the objections that I know the client is going to give me and I've written down what the solutions to those objections are going to be so that I'm prepared. And then if he hits me with an outside objection, I can tie whatever my answer is to one of the answers that I've already written here. And then if I have to improvise, I can improvise because I practice, practice, practice. Oh, sale, listen, salespeople, yeah, you can go out and talk to people. There are seminars, there are classes you can take, and there's team members. I mean, everyone on my team talks to each other about every deal, and they run scenarios by each other. The larger developments that we sell, I have three agents in one, four agents in the other, four agents in another one. They all talk to each other and practice different scenarios. So when showing that apartment, how are you going to show it? Show me how you're going to do it. Let's practice together before we actually bring a client into the space and then be brutally honest with the person that you're working with, the team member or other real estate agent or other salesperson or person who shares a cubicle with you to tell you what you do wrong. I mean, people are so afraid of hurting other people's feelings and yet they're just, you just want to be yes to death and then you get pissed off in five years when you have the same job you've always had. The truth hurts, but the truth forces you to get better. Right? The truth forces you to get better. And the only way that you can get better is by understanding the truth in the way that other people see you and the way that you present yourself in any situation. It's also very important in the summer to let your ankles breathe. You know, these are Rob McCallans. I've got the gold. Oh God, legs are so sore. Ugh. Finish with a game of if you only knew. I just throw questions at you. Okay? Let's do it. Biggest up and coming neighborhood in New York? Greenpoint. Brooklyn? Yes. Don't Brooklyn. seem so surprised. Yes. Greenpoint? I'll take you there. There's good deals. Don't have to take me there. I, I grew up in Bensonhurst. Yeah, there you go. What happened in Greenpoint? It's, it's the most up and coming. Everybody wants to be in Greenpoint now. Greenpoint, we used to yes. call it. <laughs> wow. Hottest real estate market in the country? Manhattan. Secret talent? Oh, man. Secret talent. I'm a really good husband. You just might not know it. <laughs> Guilty pleasure? Uh, 
Oreo ice cream on the couch and Netflix? Biggest risk you ever took? Coming to New York City. Who would you trade places with for a day? You. <laughs> Something you wish you were better at. <sighs> Running. Best advice you ever got? <sighs> Someone said to me once, I'd rather regret the things I did than the things I never tried. Great. Looking in your eyes was a sweet surprise. Why can't it be? Welcome to episode Russian with Yuri. Uh, Ryan asked me what do I do in a car when he leaving an appointment. So I show now. You see there's in the car no gym. Okay, what do I do? Let's go outside. Oh, okay. Watch. I do push-ups. That's what the Ryan like. Like this. Or I'm do also this. That was episode working out with Yuri. I'm allergic to the sun. People don't know that either. I'm incredibly pale, but I also sneeze nonstop in the sun. I don't know why, it just happens. No, 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 it's always the sun. If I see the sun, I have to sneeze at least once, if not twice or three times. Like every time I'm showing houses and I go up to roof decks, I'm always like, all right, here we go. Here comes the sneezing. And I just start sneezing, I don't get it. I know that there was obviously success when you were selling from a sales office and that's a different time. If we were your first broker, we'd be having totally different conversations. But now that we're here to close out the building, we need to look at it and say, okay, what are we gonna do to drive the most traffic? On top of all the marketing that we do, the events and everything else that we'll go through, how is our price gonna come out of the gate and let people know that we are ready to sell? Right? If no one shows up on, on you know, the Masonettes, then we're still priced too high. Because we are, our goal is to put it out there across the world and make sure that every single person knows that this is the place to be if you want to be downtown or if you want to be in Manhattan in general, right? We, that's why we also want to change the name just a little bit, which we can talk about. We'll keep it one on one wall. Yeah, don't freak out. <laughs> we just want people to know exactly what the location is, right? And so we want to call it one on one wall by the water. Instead of between water and water. Yes. So it's true because it is by water street. It's also by the water. Okay, Tangled. approved. We also changed up the floor plan, so we can go through that yeah. stuff, but hit us with questions about pricing. Let's talk through this. Massive time that it would take. Yeah, if we can get this guy the approval and deposit today, he, he needs to order a few things, so he does need it to be kind of a quick decision, but we could have it done. He could start on Monday and it'll be finished for Wednesday. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Ready to sell them? Ready to sell. Let's do Thank it. You. Appreciate it. See you, man. All right, so that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you liked it. The vlogs have been a little bit different lately. You know, we are just figuring this out as we go. I wanna make sure that every vlog that we put out there is useful and that you guys actually like it. And one thing my team is working on is going live. They wanna do a live stream, which I don't know if, if that's a good idea or not. If you want me to go live, please comment below and say go live. And then maybe if enough of you want me to go live, then I will do it. And if all else fails, please subscribe or I'll die. Why can't it be true?